Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Claire, I'm a mum to two little girls and I have an Ed to look after as well. Let's talk about work lunches. Now I'm currently on maternity leave so work lunches are not a thing I have to worry about. But Ed, he definitely needs to take a lunch with them. He works quite a physical job and so he needs some food. And I do try and mix it up because the tendency for him to go for one single sad solitary sandwich is there and inevitably what happens when you do that too many days in a row is you go I don't want that sandwich and you go and you buy rubbish so to avoid that we are mixing it up we are doing different lunches so follow along you might get some ideas for yourself and please let me know down in the comments what's your favorite thing to take to work for lunch let me know and um, yeah if you enjoy this please do like and subscribe I'm terrible at asking for that but I do appreciate it let's crack on with Monday it is Sunday evening and we got these in a magic bag today. I can't eat them, Freya won't eat them. Um, some rice noodles, Singapore style rice noodles. They have got some flavourings in, but you know, we can do better than that. So let's pop the noodles in. They will cook just fine in the microwave along with everything else. There we go. Right. What we have here is I've got some courgette from our garden because courgette and everything at the moment, that's the curse of summer. Um, I've got some radish from our garden. I've got pepper, not from our garden. Some ginger, also not from our garden. Now, the last thing I want to add into this dry container, I say it's not dry, but you know what I mean, it's not the sauce is some ham because Ed is a carnivore and if there's ever a meal without meat in it he makes fun of me and asks where the rest of it is so pop some ham in there as well and then he'll be a happy bunny Just wash my hands Just give it a bit of a zhuzh didn't actually mean to put the ginger in there. Oh well, it's Sunday night and I'm tired and I've got two sick kids. So we'll deal with it. Right, so that's the bulk of it. Now I want to do a bit of a sauce. And he, it, rather than add this in at this point and have everything go a bit soggy, he can just put this in and mix it up just before he cooks everything. So there is, <laughs> guys, this is hilarious. I'd asked him before he went upstairs to get me out the soy sauce and he has not gotten me out the soy sauce. He got me out the gluten-free teriyaki sauce. I should have used soy sauce there. So let's pretend I did, but I didn't. But it's his fault, but it will still taste yummy. And it's still really nice that gluten-free teriyaki marinade. Although I prefer a homemade one myself. A little drizzle of sesame oil. Some garlic, which... There we go. It's coming near to the end of its life, so I'm just getting the last of the bits out the jar. And a little teaspoon of honey. Sure. It will get sufficiently shaken up on his cycle into work anyway. And we'll add a couple more things to it in the morning, but that is the base of Monday's lunch sorted. Okay, Monday morning. And now don't panic. This is not all for its lunch. We got these in a magic bag yesterday and there's no way he and Freya can eat them all in two days. So he's gonna take those in for his colleagues. He's got some crisps, he's got his noodles and ham, etc. A bit of fruit and his sauce. Easy. Good morning, it is Tuesday. And as you can tell, I'm a fan of a little Tupperware. So we got some of these um, potato and meat pies on closer inspection. They are in fact steak meat rather than just 
creepy generic non-branded meat um, so that will be good to go in the microwave for him they've been in the freezer so it'll be defrosted by the time it comes to his lunch a little bit of fruit satsuma some aldi brand mini cheddars that's the words i'm searching for some grapes and some biscuits because i bought these thinking that freya would like them and she's refusing to even try them which is most unusual and i'm not letting them go to waste so he can have some in a tupperware good morning excuse my counter that needs a wipe so today ed has on the menu a brown bread ham mustard and tomato sandwich made lovingly by yours truly a bag of crisps some grapes an apple and if you're thinking to yourself claire that looks like you've stolen that packet of biscuits from a hotel room you're wrong my mother stole this packet of biscuits from a hotel room she's um actually i think a cabin on the ferry uh, to be more specific. She's a great one for just grabbing all the sachets of teas and coffees and all the biscuits and whatnot. And then because my house is the first stop off when she gets onto the mainland, we are the lucky beneficiaries. So stolen biscuits, not, they're not stolen. Like you've paid for them. You're supposed to eat them in the room, whatever. There you go. Stem din Oops. I can't get my words out. I haven't had my coffee yet. Stem ginger and dark chocolate. I'm quite jealous actually. Please excuse the slightly odd angle, I'm running out of space. So it is still Wednesday and I've got to have a think about Ed's lunches for the rest of the week. And we don't want the poor lad to go hungry, do we? I've got some leftovers from yesterday's dinner. I've got some new potatoes and I've got some salmon and it's too good to go to waste, not that we ever would. So I've popped four eggs and some milk in here. I'm going to add some paprika. Generous amount. I'm hoping this will do lunch for Thursday and Friday. And I'm going to add some herby salt. Yep. And um, oh, excuse me, young lady. And we're going to add some black pepper. And we're done now. Need to refill that okay and what i'm going to make is a sort of spanish style tortilla so i'm going to slice up these potatoes flake up the salmon bun that in the pan with the egg i've got my grill preheating so that um because otherwise it won't cook on top and it's going to be too unwieldy to flip like you would an omelet so let's just see where we go oh there's bones in this bit let's get rid of those get into the pan with that lot Ed would eat the skin, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a fan. Are you pro salmon skin or not? I suppose nutritionally it would be better, but I'm just, I'm not that person. Now let's thinly slice some potatoes and they can go in as well. I'm pro skin on potato. Okay, now I've sort of judged things up as best I can. Let's hope that we have enough egg because I don't have any more in. Oh yeah, we're fine. I probably could have gone a bit more potato heavy actually. Shall I add another potato? Yeah, he's a growing boy. Right, so let's get this on the hob for a few minutes and then I'll pop it under the grill for a few minutes to finish the top of it. And we'll go from there. There she is. Um, now I'm going to leave this to cool completely in the pan and it is best served cold, although we can microwave it at work if he prefers it. So I'll take a look once she's fully cooled down. I don't know why I've gendered her. Uh. Here is our cool tortilla. So it made so much that you know, these slices are, are huge, right? So I think Freya and I are going to have them for lunch as well for the rest of the week, which is an excellent use of some leftovers and four eggs. Good morning, Thursday. Okay, so he's got two slices of the salmon and potato tortilla, a couple of bits of fruit. These are garlic and herb crackers in a big tub from Aldi. He quite likes those. And these are mozzarella balls. He got some yellow sticker mozzarella balls. I ate half the box yesterday and he gets half of them to have with his lunch as well. And that is Thursday's lunch for Ed. Hello, it's Friday, a bit of a boring one, I suppose, because it's pretty much the same as yesterday, but I can tell you 
yeah, I'm just making daddy's lunch. Um, the review from yesterday was that he loved the tortilla and he would like more of those, please. So he's got some more tortilla, he's got some more crackers in a wee Tupperware. It's an apple. Yeah, he's got an apple as well. Um, We've got a cappuccino shortbread, again, stolen from the Ben McCree, and um, an apple for him as well. We're starting to run a bit low on fruit this week. Dear Daddy, what about an apple? Yeah, it's for Daddy's lunch.